5.5 is freaking awesome. Now I'll go over just the stuff that is awesome for me, like that I looked at. So for example, like character animations, I'm not doing anything with characters. So yeah, this stuff is cool, but it's not like I can't speak on any of this. Stuff that I can speak of is this. Mega Lights, a new experimental uh, feature that allows artists to add hundreds of dynamic shadow casting lights into their scene. That is freaking insane because they can make fully dynamic lights and work volumetric shadows on consoles and PC. Consoles, that means they're performant. That is gonna be insane, especially, um, like for lower end platforms and in virtual production where you can't have a lot of lights because it's just too expensive. Yeah, everything has to be baked. So this is huge, absolutely huge. It is experimental. So, you know, use with caution for your own projects, but hell yeah. Next up, hardware ray tracing, local exposure. Local exposure is kind of nice. Applies local adjustments to preserve both highlights and shadow detail on top of the global exposure. This is just nice, nice little stuff. Nothing that's like, oh my God, this is gonna be uh, game breaking. Mesh texture color painting. We now support mesh painting on Nanite. That right there is absolutely insane because this has been desired by everyone since the release of Nanite. We have not been able to paint Nanite. It was just like ID masks. And ID masks are great, but now we can paint each one individually however we want with vertex paint. It is hallelujah, right? Absolutely insane. No more like doing custom like like 20 other masks or something. You just do this and then just use like ID masks or something, stuff like that. Day sequence is an experimental plugin that Emily generates 24 hour day cycle. It's gonna be nice for some people that need this, right? There have been plugins that kind of do similar stuff and you can code it kind of all yourself as well. So this isn't like a game breaking thing or a game changing thing, but it's nice that it's coming into the engine itself. Local fog volumes is gonna be really nice. We've had local fog, but this one, local fog volumes, unlike volumetric fog, works across all platforms at scalability levels. So this is just a, like a better fog than we had before. Nice. Substrate's going to beta, cool. Static lighting. Experimental support for static lighting added for world partition levels and level instances. This is big. This right here is really big because my game currently, right, uses level instances. And a lot of people also use world partition. This allows you to bake. Both light maps and volumetric light maps techniques are supported using CPU light maps. It doesn't matter if it's CPU or GPU, it's supported. Yeah, sure, CPU is slower, unfortunate, but it's supported. Basically, at the current moment, you could only do dynamic lighting inside of level instances, which meant you have to have full dynamic. Having the ability to bake it now means, oh, your performance has gone up and visually qual the visual quality can go up as well because you could throw a lot of lights at it and get it really looking exactly how you want. So visual quality and everything is gonna uh, be good. You have some um, some stuff that's required to turn it on, but this is, this is big. So super, super good. Procedural content generation, GPU compute. It's coming, experimental, but it's coming. This is P uh, PCG. So right now everything's done on CPU. They're starting to uh, try to stuff, do stuff with GPU. So it's gonna basically improve speed and performance. It can write directly to the GPU scene. And there's like a bunch of explanation on um, on it, but basically just know under the hood, it is fa becoming faster and better. Grammar is like HLSL for materials, right? It's like a co like basic coding language that allows you to create like setups where, hey, you're gonna have like, if something is next to something, then cr put this, t uh, put this there. If something is in a certain setup, put this there, right? Very advanced. Like you can do syntax, you can do like a sequences in specific order, fixed number. It's very advanced. I will look into it. We'll figure out how to, do, how to use it. I'll make tutorials for it. Geometry processing. Model, modify, and combine and output meshes directly within PCG through UE4, uh, UE4, under Unreal's dynamic mesh type. This also allows mixing, modeling, and instancing. So basically we're gonna be uh, able to model using PCG effectively. Dynamic meshes basically using PCG. It is merge assets, uh, you, you're, you'll basically, full on modeling using PCG. It's gonna be so good. This is another thing that I've personally wanted since PCG has come out, which is spline meshes in PCG. We have not been able to do spline meshes. Spline meshes is freaking awesome because Right, it's, it curves, it curves with a spline. We have not been able to do this. We've only been able to do spline meshes through blueprints. Now it's PCG. Far better, far more performant. So good. World Raycast is also another huge one, which is basically allows you to like raycast like, all over the place. Again, all of this is PCG. This is this insane, there's so much insane stuff coming to uh, PCG. Pathfinding. Pathfinding is coming to PCG, where you can just find the shortest path on a landscape from one point in another. 
potentially. It's insane. When provided with point data to traverse, the pathfinding will search for points within a given search radius and if possible, find a completed optimal path from the start position to the goal position using a search algorithm. A heuristic estimation is used to predict the next point along the path. The violent path, if it exists, will be forwarded as an output either as a spline data or point data containing the... This is PCG, but even if you don't have it generate points and you just have it generate a spline, that means you can use... You can have your AI walk along this spline and it, and not even care about the um, Nick anything else. It has found the best path just through PCG. It's so insane. There's so much coming. And I'm not even at the bottom here of the PCG section. Elevation stuff coming to uh, PCG. And elevation isoline extraction node. And this is a, to officially build isolines from surface data, such as landscapes. Because you've seen this, like, on stuff. This is, a, this is crazy. That means you could also find probably the starts and ends of slopes, I'm guessing, using this. It's so good. The ability to write to Niagara. Data channels. It's experimental, but... Writing PCG to, to Niagara is going to be awesome. Here's another huge one that I've had people ask me about in the comments. Uh, save to PCG data assets. We can just save the PCG data so we can modify it and save it. So save the PCG data asset node saves the input data collection to a PCG data asset directly from the PCG graph execution it is placed in. You can open a dialog to save predetermined location. We'll uh, rerun every time the graph is rerun and will not execute if the inputs are the same. This is good. I'll need to look into more like the limitations on what everything can do, but being able to like save all the stuff is great. So many new nodes, right? With all of this, so many new nodes. Like, look at this. This is just all the nodes. Like nodes, nodes, nodes. That's PCG. PCG is getting so much. It is so good. More modeling tools stuff, which is great. If you're doing a lot of modeling, it's going to be nice to have some stuff. Better UV tools is going to be good. Just be able to, um, a lot of times, I need to just tweak someone's asset. And sometimes it's just easier to do it in Unreal. So this is going to make it even easier, which is great. Texturing tools. Uh, I haven't played around with this. This is basically something designer in Unreal. So really cool. And geometry scripting is getting upgrades. So maybe it'll finally be like pretty good because there's a lot coming here you know it, it's it's hard to say like how big of an update this really is going to be without like testing stuff but so much stuff in geometry scripting which also again basically works now with pcg it's huge oh scriptable tools are getting an upgrade which is pretty awesome which is basically the ui version of like geometry scripting but it's like for ui where you can have it trace and like create things like tool builders filters and collections point line triangle sets interesting widgets mouse behaviors input behaviors yeah lots of good stuff batch renamer is coming this is awesome we're getting a batch renamer i don't know why this wasn't in or before but thank god for this having a batch renamer is moi chef's kiss thank you apparently it came in 5.4 as an advanced renamer as a plugin it has been released for 5.5 under the name batch renamer i didn't even know about this advanced renamer in 5.4 but now it's it's like actually i guess part of it by default and it's called batch renamer which is more like i guess industry standards i'll call it uh because it just people know what a battery namer is virtual production i don't actually deal with almost any of this even though i work in virtual production this is like on set on on stage stuff and i don't do that oh my god that is i worked on this environment <laughs> this environment i worked on it <laughs> i saw on the lady wall too <laughs> Yeah, I worked on this. And it was it was a um, epic environment. So yeah, we were helping them with for stuff. Yeah, that, that's why I, I I just noticed I didn't notice it when I was first looking through this. Uh, but I was like just looked at it, I was like wait, I think I know that environment. <laughs> yeah, this is the same environment. Yeah, this is this is the same one. I think that's it. Yeah, it's protocol stuff that at DMX. It's all like under virtual production all that. Yeah, that's 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 basically it. But holy crap, where's that PCG section? Yeah, like look at this. Over two with thirteen nodes here just for PCG. There's like rendering stuff that has more, sure, but there's like all different kinds of rendering. There's so much in five point five. Genuinely, there is so much in five point five. So my opinion on five point five is yes, freaking yes, hell yes. I'm uh, I'm so glad for five five. Yeah, so many good things. So many good things.